Hello everyone and welcome back to this week's Trader Joe's haul. So we have a little bit of a smaller haul this week and there are a few items but you guys won't have to wait. Um, we're going to do the taste test video right after I'm done showing you this haul. So let's get started. Let me share with you what we got this week. So I just picked up some baby spinach. We needed some of this and this said it was new. I think it's the blend that's new and I do believe it is because I haven't seen it at my store. Uh, this one is the organic romaine and chicory blend. So this is great. I'll probably use that and for my salads this week or on top of some sandwiches even because I think I'm going to do sandwiches this week for lunch. We needed some mozzarella cheese. So this is the one that I always get, just the light mozzarella cheese as well as my favorite artichokes. These ones are the quartered marinated artichokes. I love this one. Perfect for all sorts of stuff. So I always like to keep that in the pantry as well as this, our favorite roasted potatoes with peppers and onions, vegan. So great. So we grabbed another bag of that. Okay, and then over here, like I said, I'm gonna be doing sandwiches this week for lunch. So I grabbed two different meats. I grabbed the smoked turkey breast, as well as the uncured applewood smoked salami. I thought those two would pair very well together. And then I grabbed another one of this. I grabbed this, oh gosh, when it first came out, and it's really great, and I'm running really low on it, so I wanted to grab another bottle. This is the green and red hatch chili flakes. So great, it's not too spicy at all. I would definitely say it's like a mild, um, but I love putting this on chicken, especially my favorite thing is chicken enchiladas. When I make um, like the chicken mixture with cream cheese, I sprinkle a lot of this green and red hatch chili flakes on there and it's really great that this with the sriracha seasoning on the chicken my favorite combo over here I'm sure you guys saw this a, a couple of months ago. We tried this for the first time. Brent hated it and I loved it. This is the caramelized onion dip. Um, so yeah, I was craving it for a snack. So I picked that up this week. This is the bread that I got for the sandwiches. I grabbed the Tuscan bread. This one's great. And then we've got two brand new items over here. Let's go with the cheese first. This is the brand new cheese this week. The artesian cheese. This one's with basil, thyme, and rosemary. Those are like my three favorite herbs. Uh, so this is probably going to be really great. I mean, you can see all the seasonings throughout the cheese. So very excited for this one. Here's the nutrition facts on here. And then we've got the ingredients as well. Okay, and then I'm sure a lot of you are excited for this next one. We have got the unexpected cheddar cheese spread with hatch chili. So they do have the original one of this, just the plain one. But what's new is it is with the hatch chili, which you guys know, I love me some hatch chili. So really excited about this one. The original one, I was not personally a big fan of it. I don't know if it's just because I wasn't sure what to do with it. So let me know if you guys love the like original one of this. What do you guys use it? On. I did see a reel on Instagram where someone used macaroni and cheese or used this cheese with macaroni. That sounded good, especially like the hatch chili version. So maybe that's something I can try. Okay, so here we go. Here's the nutrition facts and the ingredients. And of course it um, does contain milk. But yeah, excited to try that one. It's the end of summer, so I know they are not gonna have this flavor around too much longer and it is hands down my favorite one. So I had to pick up another box, the strawberry and rhubarb hand pies, two all butter crust hand pies. I just put this in the air fryer for I think like three minutes. So delicious, I'm gonna have one right after I'm done with this. And then this is a pizza that I have never tried before. I'm surprised that I haven't, so I grabbed it to try. We'll probably just have this for an easy dinner tonight. This is the organic cheese and tomato pizza. It's with mozzarella, provolone, and Ella, what is that? Emmond, oh my gosh, I cannot pronounce that word. <laughs> Jesus, this is a family size, which is perfect. It will be enough for all of us, uh, me, Brent, and Lakeland. Tristan will have something else. He doesn't even like pizza. Um, so yeah, we grabbed that. And then this is something that we've never tried as well too. I mean, a Pop-Tart is probably, tastes just like a Pop-Tart, but these are the organic frosted toasted pastries, the strawberry flavor, and it comes with um, six of them in here. So yeah, um, just grab them an easy snack or breakfast in the mornings. We are 
full school mode over here, so we need some easy breakfast and stuff to get out the door. So over here, we've got our last new item of the week. That is the tiniest chocolate chip cookies. And I don't know if you guys have seen this going around, but these cookies literally are the tiniest little cookies. I think, honestly, it's the size of this bag. Um, really small. I've even seen some people using this as cereal. You just pour this in a bowl, add milk, and eat it kind of like the cookie, you know, cereal back in the day. Um, but yeah, excited to try this. Okay, so here's the nutrition facts and the ingredients. It contains milk, soy, wheat, and then may contain egg and coconut, okay. But yeah, really cute little bag. I'm sure Lakeland will love those. And then it's been a long time since I picked this up. This is the Super Seedy Cheese Snack Bites. Uh, they're gluten-free, really great. I love these. I love to snack on them on their own, but I also like to uh, like crunch them up and put them on a salad, really great. It's puffed quinoa and whole peppercorn. You really are gonna get that that whole peppercorn taste. But if you really like pepper um, and like cheese, like the Parmesan cheese, it's so good. I love it. And then we needed some gluten-free all-purpose flour. I was baking Tristan some cookies last weekend and I realized I was completely out of flour for him. So I had to pick that up. Oh, there is one more new item. This one sounds really good as well too. I completely forgot about this one. So this one is the um, Sri Lankan Organic Mango Chutney. So I have never had um, a chutney before, um, but this sounds delicious. Um, and it has really good ingredients as well too. So please let me know what should I pair this on? I did read the label over here. It says you can pair it with um, vegetarian dishes, meats, or over cheese, which I think might actually be pretty good like on a charcuterie board that's probably a good one but let me know if you guys have any other suggestions on what I can use this with okay so here we go here's the nutrition facts and then look at that really clean ingredients there's no natural flavor or anything in here um, yeah so organic mango first one organic sugar Ooh, went out of focus a little bit um, but yeah, really great ingredients on here. And then I grabbed some yogurt, some more easy breakfast. I just grabbed the organic French vanilla one. And then I had to pick up another one of these hot sauces. I think this is my third bottle now. This is the chunky garlic and jalapeno hot sauce. It's one of our favorites now. We really love it. So yeah, let's get right on to this taste test portion. Okay, everyone, we are on to the taste test portion of the video. So we only have a few items to try, nothing too much. So let's get right into it. Okay, so first up, I thought we would start with dessert this time. The tiniest chocolate chip cookies. They are like really small, and you know what people have been doing with this? Putting it in milk. Yes, cereal. Really? Yeah, oh, they're totally just guess. dumping it in a bowl, all the cookies with no. milk, and then having it as cereal. I mean, that's what I would have done, so. Yeah. Yeah, they are, I mean, I can see why people are just yeah. eating this as cereal, because it is tiny. This is officially the tiniest cookie I've ever seen. Yeah, like. Oh, this would be perfect as cereal with some milk. Like, what's the point of this? Like, when they made this, or like, do they expect people just to get a handful and eat it? And kind of just, yeah, because it's almost like too small. Like you need to like yeah. a handful, and then it's like inconvenient because it's like they're right. so small. They're super dry. It tastes like kind of like cookies. It tastes like um, a Chips Ahoy cookie, kind of. I yeah. would say that's the most the most resemblance of a Chips Ahoy. But cookie. a Chips Ahoy cookie is better. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Not too impressed. I think it's. I think it'd be good with milk. Yeah, oh, I like. Yeah. It. yeah. It's not something that we would get again, but it's nothing bad. It tastes like a Chips Ahoy crunchy cookie. And if you like the small cookies, maybe for kids too, I think the kids would think this is cute as well too. So kind of up to you. Nothing terrible, definitely tastes good, um, but I don't think we would get it again. Okay, so we have the cheddar cheese spread with hatch chili. Yes, do you remember this? We've tried it before, the unexpected cheddar cheese spread, but the hatch chili is what's new. Okay. So they added this. So we weren't the biggest fans of this, and I remember why it's very rich. It's like a very rich, strong flavor, the original one. And I, we just weren't sure what to do with it because with just cheese and like crackers, it was just almost too much for us. Um, but we do have the hatch chili flavor to try. And I warmed up a little bit of this too. I don't think we warmed it up last time. So we're gonna try it both ways and let you guys know what we think. 
Okay, so let's try it cold first, or yeah, it was cold, it was in the fridge. And then we'll try it warmed up after. It's very strong. Very strong, yes. It's just like the last one, it's like, it is better with the hatch chili though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. And it's nothing spicy at all. So if you're afraid of the spice, I would, would recommend this. It's, I don't, I'm not really getting any spice. Uh, mine oh, was pretty your spicy. Your really spicy? Try again. Mm, okay. What would you say, medium then? I'd say it's a medium. A medium, okay. That's why there's both of us. <laughs> yeah, like right now, it's it's got a it's got some spice behind it Does right it? Now. Okay. Yeah. I must have not had a spicy bite. It definitely is good. If you like the original one and you like spice, then I would go for this one because it definitely improves the taste with the hatch chilies for sure. Okay, you gonna try it warmed up? Yep. I like it better cold. Do you? Yep. Tastes the same. Mm. I think it's better cold. I think I like it better warmed up. Of course you do. <laughs> Either way, I don't think you'll be disappointed. If you like the strong flavor though, I mean you have to really like the strong flavor of the unexpected uh, spread. But I think it's good. I think it also would be good on like a grilled cheese sandwich. And I also said that I saw a real, someone made macaroni and cheese with this, like put this as the cheese base which I think is an excellent idea. I might use the rest of this um, for that because I think that would be really good. So mm. definitely improved with the hatch chili flavor. Yeah. Okay, so we have another cheese to try this week. This one is the artesian cheese with basil, thyme, and rosemary. Those are my personal th top three um, like herbs. So I think I'm gonna really like that, but let's give it a try. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's good. I really like that. You can smell the fresh herbs straight from the cheese. Like as soon as I opened up the little plastic thing, yeah. you smell it and it's just fresh herbs. If you like any of these herbs, uh, you'll have to like all three of it because it is a pretty strong flavor. Very strong. Very strong. You're gonna pick yeah. up all three flavors, the basil, the thyme, and the rosemary. So if you don't like any of those flavors, I wouldn't get this cheese. But if you like any, if you like all those, I would highly recommend this cheese. That is really good. I mean, that's gonna be in my top picks because um, yeah, I just love that flavor. I think it's think? really good, but I think it's a cheese that you can only have like very small portions of it, small bites. Really? Okay. Small pieces. You're not taking a big piece and I mean, that's I, strong and. I will, but <laughs> I love cheese. You know me, I mean Lake would just like, I cut up a butt, like I'll get these blocks. I love the, the pepper one. I get yeah. the pepper one and I just cut it up, put it in a bag and me and Lakeland just like snack throughout the day. We'll like grab pieces of cheese and just eat it. We love it. So this is gonna go in rotation really good. Like I said, if you like these herbs, definitely pick this up. All right, so I got some applesauce here. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. So we have the Trader Joe's Sir Lincoln Organic Mango Chutney. Yes. Did I say that right? No, I'm pretty sure, not positive, but chutney. it's Sherlankin Organic Sherlankin. Mango Chutney. That makes more sense. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sherlankin so, Organic Mango Chutney. Yes, it sounds good. It's like gonna be like a sweet uh, mango. I think it, is it spicy too? I'm not sure. Let's see, is there spices in it? Yeah, there's a little bit of chili powder. We'll let you know how spicy it is, but open it up and let's give like, it a what do you try. Use it? Oh, here it is. Yeah. It's, uh, Used as a condiment with all types of meats and vegetarian dishes and cheese platters. Yes. Okay. Ugh. You see, Brent doesn't like stuff. Well, though, you like jams. Like, you like peach jam. It's pretty much the same thing. What's up with the chunks? It's mango chunks. Is that what that is? Mm hmm Yeah, no. Like obviously we're not supposed to be trying it by itself. Yes, that's what I'm trying to keep in mind too. Cause this is just taking a bite of it. I'm like, ooh, I can't just eat this on its own. Yeah. Cause it's, it's very sweet, very sweet. It's not bad. Yeah, no, it's good. I, I think it, it's good. I love the flavor. It's a sweet mango flavor. 
Um, it's like a mango jam, you know, it's the consistency of a jam. It's just what do I put this on to like enhan enhance the flavor? Maybe like a sweet tri-tip or- yeah, Just a little bit on top of tri-tip. Yeah, or some vegetables or something. So please let me know what are some stuff that I can put this on because I really do like the flavor of it, but definitely just don't, I'm not gonna eat it just out of the jar. So I need some stuff to try with it. Um, but if you like mango, um, sweet. And I know this, I think this was an old item as well too. I never tried the old one. So so I can't compare it, um, but I definitely would recommend it. Um, if you guys, if it sounds good to you, I think it's good. I just need to play around with it um, and find some more stuff to put on it, but really good flavor. Yeah, I can see it being good on meat. Yeah? Yeah, Okay. for yeah. sure. Okay, so that was all the items that we had to try this week. Did you have a favorite? Did I have a favorite? Yes. No, but mm -hmm. if I had to pick one of those, as my number one, it'd be surprisingly the cheddar hatch chili. Cheese. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And my favorite was the other cheese, the basil, thyme, rosemary one. That one was really good. We hope you guys enjoyed this week and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.